Hey y'all, welcome back to Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. I'm Insetic, with me on this is Canuck Dude. Hello. And Zindictive. Sup, lads. This is the third and final hardcore episode, Lance's Bowl episode. But God I'm just, damn. I'm just starting it off by, you know, looking at the skating skills of, you know, the rest of the city. Yep, all the AI, and then being the shit out of people. Murdering yeah. Murdering two people. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. We kicking it Perfect. off though by, you know, talking to this uh mutton chopped man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey man. <laughs> right. So uh what's going on back there? Nothing, man. Nothing. Get the hell out of here. Whoa! Is that Lance Mountain? <laughs> oh. Hey, take it easy, man. Hey, sorry, kid. We're just making sure our pool doesn't get blown out. You know what I mean? Uh, Lance, this spot's screwed. Should we get rid of him? What? Wait a minute! Hey, pool skaters only. Make it quick, Mad Dog. <sighs> Whoa, no, 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 wait, wait, look, I skate too, see? Yeah, yeah, whatever, kid. You skate? I mean, really skate? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, let's see what you got. Ugh. I ain't hit nothing all day. So please, screw this up. Hey, I heard you got robbed at the local contest here. That Eric guy's weak. You should have won. Man, <laughs> what an addition. Lance Mountain, another old school skateboarder known, you know, mainly from what he did in the 80s. The he was on Keep Powell Peralta, the Bones Brigade, along with like Tony Hawk, Steve Caballero. And then you might know him also from The Firm or Flip. To the top, he had a part in Flip's trying. Extremely Stay Sorry video. Now. Yeah, an old yeah. school guy, and this is an old school episode. This is all about bowl skating. Yeah, just that kind of shredding around the bowl, getting a lot of speed, maybe doing some stuff up on the lip. And from yeah. what I've seen of this move, it is not fun. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think... None of these carves, like... If you haven't played this game, this, what you're seeing here is like, what's happening? But yeah, like you're supposed to carve and kind of, you know, do that in the vicinity of the stickers and you carve by, you know, hitting left bumper nice or uh, L1 on PS3, you know, quickly hit it and release. And if you're not, you know, up past the lip in the air, you'll, you know, carve along the, um, the bowl. Mm. It, yeah. it looks better once you get, you know, more speed here. It's kind of well, like as an introduction, but. Yeah, you can carve or you can hold left bumper and do a slash grind up on the lip. Yeah. You know, here, once again, is a grind sort of driven by your momentum. And there's no balance bar. You will eventually, you know, end it and land back in the bowl. How far you go is based on your speed. But yeah, carving and slash grinding, kind of capturing, once again, that whole sort of bowl skating. The slash grind looks cool. The carving looks just awkward. Yeah, that's what I think mainly. Uh... The slash grinding, while kind of a bit gimmicky, I think actually looks pretty cool. The carving just fucking looks good awful. Like I don't I don't know why it's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's like I get it with the slash grind. I think it looks like a you know, a sort of like minimalistic sort of basic sort of version of a grind for bowls. And it looks cool, honestly. It looks like you can stay with the bowl the entire time. But it's slashing, good. it's just if the game will know. let me carve for longer than a, a fraction of a second yeah, before, carve, I mean. like, changing the camera angle, you'll be able to see sort of what you do. Like, there, you really kind of ride the concrete, sort of. Yeah. Hmm. All right, my quick opinions of this is that it's obviously cool to give respect to this old-school style of skating. I never carve or slash grind outside of this episode. I never implement it when I'm just free skating. This, no one does. If if nail the manual or something was like kind of a gimmick, this was a total gimmick. It's kind of like that move from American Wasteland that you just never use, oh, but the yeah, game the wanted bird you to slide. use. Yeah, yeah the, the bird carving slide. has the same energy as the bird slide of like yeah. this is an addition to put on the box. <laughs> uh, this wasn't even on the box, I don't think. Uh, yeah, shit. The, my box of this game is over like five feet to my yeah. left, but I don't want to go get it. 
Yeah, and this, honestly, this wasn't like even the mentioned. birth slide, even though it was really awkward, it looks a lot more interesting in the carve. I gotta be honest. So here, kind of like if you can really get some good speed and you're actually in a bowl that's not massive, you could sort of chain some carves together sometimes. Mm. Uh, which maybe adds to it a bit. I don't know. Canuck, how did you feel about this episode? Um, like you did. It, it episode itself, I mean, due to the nature of it, isn't all that difficult, and I don't really use these outside of this episode. Really. Right. Nothing in this episode is, you know, frustrating. Sure, it's yeah. kind of just there. Um, and also, Lance did not know, you know, Lance, the old man Lance, did not understand this whole video game thing when he went in to get his, you know, visual data taken. He's wearing, like, a V-neck sweater, and that's, that's great. Listen, punk, you tell anyone about this spot and you're dead. Anyone we don't know shows up here, it's gonna be you who told them. Get it? Chill, man. It's cool. It's cool. You gotta admit, he ripped in there. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. For a punk. Hey, little guy, listen. Quicksilver Bull Riders is going down at FDR this week. You wanna come? Hell yeah, I'm down. Cool, let's go. Turtleneck, not V-neck. But yeah, mm. like, Lance is a total dad. And <laughs> so is. it's kinda weird that he's hanging out with these wild characters like Mad Dog. Fucking yeah. hardcore man calls skating in a pool. Fucking over. calls you little guy. <laughs> Even like Tony Hawk, you know, tried to look hip with the kids. You wear like cargo shorts and a shirt. You know, Lance is like, again, it's just total dad mode. It's great. He's just chill about it. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't try to show off. He's just wears fucking tail necks and right. such. So the two perks, the lower tier perk is alternate grinds where when you're slash grinding, you can hit left bumper again. And uh, if, you know, if you have the speed to keep going, go between board slides and 50 fifties which will uh, add to your multiplier and give you more points. And oh, then nice. the higher tier perk is that, like, combo window? I have that on my character that's, you know, completely beaten this game. And I don't really know what that is doing. I think what the description said was that it allows you to use it in a combo. Which... Mm. Eh. Eh. Pretty crazy, huh? Whoa, it's like a mosh pit. Go on, get in there. Are you kidding? I'll get killed in there. Nah, you just need the proper motivation. <laughs> oh man, FDR, one of the greatest skater built parks. Okay. Yeah, before we've seen it before, and. Oh man. Uh, it's this yeah. mission. I Maybe saw Benedict go through it, and he had to speed this up with like cartoony music playing. Yeah. Because it's so dumb. I it's not dumb, it's just the same thing over and over and over. It's repetitive and boring. Okay. And he couldn't even get sick in this one either. Like, this is a very long one to get points in. Everyone loves close calls. You get yeah. For almost hitting I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it once this finally ends. But, yeah, I mean, this, this mission, as, you know, dumb as you might think it looks, uh, kind of... I don't know, it feels hardcore, you know? Like, it feels, it's all about, you know, speed and getting in there and almost doing like a demolition derby versus your other, your fellow skateboarders. And so, yeah, mm. there's stickers along all the bowls and walls, paint cans along all the copings on top. Um, so, you know, you want to ride around and, you know, hit all of those. If you just hit the medium or slow, you'll only get like 2,000 points for a style slasher you know, grind, but if you uh, keep up your speed, you get a lot more points for each one. And then, yeah, if you uh, near miss or probably hit the other people in the middle, you'll get points for that too. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. So it's just I like, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I have something kind of unrelated to say. Okay. So you go ahead. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you want to ride around and, you know, preferably, ideally, get some smooth, sweet lines across FDR and back where you're, you know, aggro kicking all the time, having a ton of speed, carving up this shit. But as you see, like, sometimes <laughs> it could just launch you, like, sideways and you gotta <laughs> stop and reorient yourself like that. Oh, yeah, God. this is not the game engine for that kind of smooth writing. I can only find 19 of the 20 spots. 
I have no idea where the 20th is. And also, you know, you're trying to go super fast, so, you know, if you miss, then you're holding one of spin buttons in the air. I like the uh, idea, but yeah, this it comes together kind of wonkily. Yeah. I did want to ask uh, two things. First of all, well, actually, not the first one isn't really a question. I n noticed that uh, he, Lance comments on how Eric robbed you of uh, that competition. Uh, is that, like, context-based? Like, if you beat Bob's competition episode, then he'll Lance will comment on it? I don't know, but yeah, you, you needed to have unlocked Lance down in FDR to do this. Oh! I, yeah, I think it's the only goal that uh, requires some of those uh, places you need to unlock in the, you know, second episodes to happen, because Stevie's didn't need any of those three, and uh, Day Wands won't either. Pretty uh, much. And also, I don't know. The, other th the other thing I wanted to ask, uh, speaking of things that you unlock in other episodes, uh, can you skate check the other skaters? Probably. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I didn't think to, but like, if the skaters won't knock you over. As you see, you win all of these interactions. You know, you get your thousand points and you keep going. Hell yeah. yeah. You really need to abuse the 1,000 points from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Because once you run out of stickers, I think, you know, you're out of, well, the point opportunities for doing the stickers. Um, and what was uh, the the six score? It was like 120, Like 120,000, yeah. yeah. God damn. Yeah. Uh, so I'm also showing, when I can, um, the, the lower tier perk of changing up your grinds. You see that, you know, when I get in a slash grind and I hit the button again, I, you know, I twist, I go from board slide 50 to back, and if you spam it, uh, you don't get, like, a multiplayer bonus. But if you do it a, you know, a little bit slower, then you... Rhythmically? Would. Like, there, see, I was spamming, and mm. it wasn't going up, but once I finally <laughs> yeah. fucking do it again, you know. Once it's, if you're going at a proper speed, the animation kind of looks cool. Yeah. I mean, it's... It looks pretty gnarly, honestly. Pretty hardcore. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, again, this mission certainly embraces the hardcore spirit that, you know, the game is kind of trying to define its hardcore episodes and mechanics as. Uh, but yeah, the actual mission itself is a little wonky. Here to announce the winner, Lance Mountain! Hey, everyone. Lots of crazy rippers out here tonight. But out of all of you, the craziest is... You don't need to tell these butt faces who's best. They're looking at him. If anyone, any of you posers think they can take this cup from me, bring it. Bring it! I don't know, Eddie. I've seen some new blood out there. New blood? More like fresh crud. <laughs> he was killing it in the jam session. He blew everyone away. You think this punk bucket has anything on me? On me? Mock ten lines and bone shaking grinds. Don't let me see your sorry ass in no bowls, you crap cake. Don't worry about that guy. He's just a jerk. Meet me in downtown yeah. Philly and we'll skate some more. Another an creative amazing way character. of uh, another yeah. creative way of getting them to not have to say your name. Eddie yeah. also not only dissed you, he walked away with Lance's trophy. Yeah. He just yeah. took it. Like, Lance won, and Eddie just literally took the trophy. I think he was there to announce the winner, not to uh, be the winner. No, didn't it say, and the winner is Lance Mountain? No, here, yeah. to, here to announce the winner, Lance Mountain. Oh, huh. Okay. Yeah. But, oh, fucking hell. Like, just... He fucking tries to burn you. He breaks the mic. He takes the trophy like an asshole. He makes that... God awful laugh in the middle of all of that. How yeah. hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> also, I like how this is like, you know, so uh, fucking hardcore competition. You know, you got Eddie over here, you know, fucking badass. Uh, sponsored by Quicksilver, by the way. Uh -huh. just, so you, just so you guys know. Uh, Quicksilver? Quicksilver paid for all this, you know. Shaking lines and bone shaking grinds or whatever. Big comps are nice, but you gotta be an all-terrain skater. Wall rides let you session a wall in a whole new way. 
Hey, Neversoft, uh, or hey, player, if you don't know how to wall ride by this point in the game, how did you get here? Like, okay, maybe not that, but like, for some reason, in the middle of this bowl skating episode, Lance Mountain teaches you how to wall ride, which is not needed in any other part of this episode, and is also a thing that any, if, 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 you know, Anyone except someone who this was their first extreme sports game ever probably knew how to do. I don't know, it's really weird. Yeah, I mean, I guess when you think about it, the concepts of carving and the concepts of wall riding are related. But outside of that, kind of... Uh -huh. You know, it's a hardcore sort of deal, so obviously we have a freaking mission where we gotta, like, take out all those no skateboarding signs and such, you know, go against yeah. all the freaking government crap and everything. As is mandatory. You know, anarchy, anarchy, but why teach us how to do wall riding and wall jumps now? <laughs> yeah, it's a, I'm, it's I way mean, too late. I mean, the earliest you could get to this is you start the game fresh. Um, you complete all the tutorial stuff. You know, you learn nail the trick, you learn aggro kicking, you learn the rigging system, you learn about spot challenges, da da da. Mm -hmm. And then you go continue Mike V's epic episode. And at a certain point, you know, you'll unlock the other two hardcore episodes. And then you can go to Lance's first. And so, yeah, I guess that's the minimum amount you'd need to do to get here. The maximum amount is to do literally everything but Lance's episode. But yeah, still, it's you have like, done. It's like, it just feels so shoehorned in. Like, I don't it think wall rides ever got or needed a whole tutorial in any other game. Even American Wasteland was just like, here's how to wall ride, do it three times and we'll teach you something new we have. Because wall rides just so basic, it's like you don't really need to teach people how to pull it off. It's like it j it just comes natural, really. Wall riding in this game is almost as ubiquitous as the ollie itself. Like they've been in the game since Pro Skater One, like and they've been a platforming mechanic since Pro Skater One. You have your wallie, you have your like you know. You wall ride wally, that's how you get to secret places. Been in the game since 1999. Yeah. Like, alright. It would have been much better if they made it like a tutorial thing at the very beginning, but not here. Not as like a main mission yeah. thing. Imagine if this was a part, like a part of Mike V's episode, like you got to aggro push and then wall ride like a huge wall gap of some kind. Yeah, like, a, like an aggro wall ride. Yeah, that seems pretty cool, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Um, so this, though, though I will say, this mission more than anything else, this is where you will go to wall ride, but there's almost always a rail right next to you, and the rail usually wins out over the wall if you're just holding Y or triangle. Uh, uh, so yeah. this is where I've run into issues. I mean, you see, like, I already went in and put down a lot of custom ramps to even hit some of the skateboarding signs. Um, and I'm still only half doing it, and now I can't wall ride to save my life. Like, I, I don't know, wall riding's ubiquitous, but here, in, like, in the tunnel... Uh, it, yeah, this, this it looks awkward. It doesn't work. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah, but I mean... Yeah. Couldn't even find all the signs. Didn't want to find all the signs. Didn't want to destroy. Didn't want to cause anarchy. <laughs> I mean, I caused half anarchy. Yeah. Eh, half our anarchy is. You good only enough. got eighteen of the signs. You only got eleven of the signs out of eighteen. Right. You're, yeah. You're almost there. Yeah, they'll have to spend some time putting <laughs> that back up. You're a pro at anarchy, but you're not sick. Someone might have to stay an extra hour at the end of the workday. And that's yeah. enough anarchy for me. Yeah, pretty much. Hey man, they're gonna get paid overtime, hopefully. <laughs> Deal time. Come on, be honest. <laughs> yeah, the... How naive. <laughs> yeah. How naive. <laughs> yeah. Great one. Uh, hey, okay, let's see what Dad was, is yeah, up to I... now. Hey, Dad, again. <laughs> well, should we show him or what? Your call, man. Man, what the hell? He's earned it. 
Hey, kid, come here. You feel that? You remember that, because if you tell anyone, anyone, what we're about to show you. Let me guess. You'll kill me? Some of the best spots aren't out in the open. There's a whole lot more to skate around here than meets the eye. And if you want to skate him, if you want to earn our respect, if you want to be a true skater, no sellout, then you come with us. All right. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, first let's No go selling out. out. Sponsored by Quicksilver. I think the thing that gets me about Lance and Mad Dog that seems so weird is that, you know, Lance doesn't have any edge to him. He's a, you know, total dad. He's delivering all his lines really flat. Does that make Mad Dog a daddy's boy? What the fuck, Sid? What I was going to go at is that, which is why it's so weird that Lance is paired with this, you know, over-the-top <laughs> character that's all, you know, rough and giving you a hard time. Yeah, we're not really supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, like, it's all the other duos worked with each other. You know, Stevie and Bryce, Bob and Ryan. Uh, even when they'd invent people, mainly they invented people to be either your friend or were Eric Sparrow. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just but this is really just weird jarring, really. Yeah, and also, once again... How have you not been up here yet? <laughs> if you haven't. Uh, like, I've explored- How is the secret? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just weird. They put so much emphasis on like where we're going, you can't tell anyone. And then it's like, yeah, I've probably been, I don't know, maybe people haven't or whatever. Yeah, aren't you up here in the career episode? Uh, not in yeah. the goals, just, you're just up on the overhang. But then yeah. again, that kind of introduces you to the fact that there is something up here, Let's so... Oh no, there's security, even though we're on the rooftop right now, and they're yeah. down there. And so, like, this mission, I'm pretty sure they were just like... They just used all the true bowls they had made in the... In the, in the world. You know, because even here, it's like a neat idea for a mission, decent idea, but then it's like... Uh-oh, we gotta... We gotta scram securities up here, and what they'll do is they'll just teleport that model to, like, the bowl you were just in. And now you have to go to the next bowl. Like, what? Does it feel like... I don't know, but does this it feel like... This whole episode just feels yeah. off. It feels like an afterthought, really. Like, they wanted to add in some kind of classic thing from Skateboarding Past. Uh... But... Okay. Good loading screen. Great. But yeah, they wanted to add something to the skateboarding pass, but I feel like this was like way in like later on in development, and it's just like they were kind of running out of ideas and spots of where to even like make this work as a mission thing. So they're like, uh, fuck it, use these bowls you've already done and shit. Screw it, make them learn wall rides again or whatever. We, we fuck it. Yeah, it's, just, it's kind of all over the place. I mean, I don't oh, no, know. There he I is. Can't. Yeah, I can't say what happened. All I can, can we say talk about is... how dedicated this guy is? Like he's fucking climbing up all over the roof. Trying he's to just get teleporting you. all over the pace, plus like a fucking like creepypasta character. I mean, he gets to the bowl you were just in, and he could probably see or hear you tearing up the bowl right next to him. But he's still just gonna like take a sweet time. He's just gonna stand there going like. Oh, Hulk, there better not be any more skaters wanting to shred this exact bowl. And then it's he's like, that, wait a second, they're over there, get them. He's, he's either not that the stalking, most... He's yeah. not that stalking Watson guy, where if you look away, he just teleports right behind you out of nowhere. Like that. Yeah, he's either the world's most dedicated security guard, or the world's laziest teleporting <laughs> security guard. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, if you had the power to teleport anywhere you went, I, I feel like... I'd use that to be able to be lazier, you know, yeah. in other ways. But he can't even teleport far enough to apprehend you. Like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is just too much mind power. Maybe uh, it's exponential, like, ten feet away. He just wants to scare them. That's, that's yeah. what he's trying to achieve. Just trying to scare them off. Yeah, like, every increment of ten feet away, like, costs, uh, like, one power of ten more energy. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to come back up to the roof to really show off, you know, sort of the top of it and, and some hidden little things that are there. Like, you remember, uh, Underground 1? Moscow? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, get up in the dome and this is kind of the same thing. Do you know all the tricks? Yeah. Just 
kind of another cool little thing. A I little hit. Five around. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just really again wanting to show off the sort of little extra things like as well, like this wire that's connected to the top. If you jump up and grind it, you see there's some cash, but it also gives you a ton of speed. Jesus Christ, Christ that thing! So you can launch and get a huge air. Get ready, Make here comes ultimate. something big. Yeah, so it's just really, it's just really cool. It's again a little out of the way, but if you explore around, you know there are things to find. Yeah, I know we the were maybe kind of a, trick. We maybe were kind of bagging on him for maybe phoning in this episode a little bit, but I mean there is effort, effort here. Yeah, effort in the world. Yeah, this is one of NeverSoft's best like worlds. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they only made two open worlds, but I mean, you know. There's a lot more to this than there was in American Wasteland World. Yeah. It's again sort of a thing where if you're looking for amusement parks and wild areas, then obviously you're going to be let down by this game. But, you know, uh, them going more realistic lets them, you know, put that kind of level of detail. It's a lot more consistent, I'd say. Like, American Wasteland is, like, very inconsistent on, like, all the fun stuff and good lines and all. Whereas this one has a lot to give for yeah. every area. So you not only have to reach the marker, you have to take your photo every time? Yeah, I was surprised by that. This is, like, probably one of the only street challenges where, you know, it's a photo challenge, but then you need to take photos at... All three points. You know, I, I got surprised by that the first time doing this. That's yeah. awkward. Wait, this isn't part of the mission. This is no, no. That was a nah. open world challenge. Really? Yeah. I was gonna say that's re that's pretty strange for a story mission. I'm, I mean, I'm. It's a little less strange for a story mission, but if that's a street challenge, then like, damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, you know, I always try That's to find a street. not really shocking. Well, I, don't know what, I don't know what happened there. The hmm. car slowly came to us. We got owned because of that. Very intimidating car. Yeah, I, tapped, <laughs> I tapped its bumper and it fell apart like a Ford Pinto. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, again, I just always try to find a street challenge that unlocks, you know, due to me doing the episode in the episode. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here come we are. On, Dan. Going up? Where? On the roof. Let's go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought I told this kook not to show up at any bowls. Calm down, man. You calm down! <laughs> no one's hitting the kid but me. Whatever. Just get the hell out of my pool. Your pool? This kid can skate it as good as you. Yeah, right. I'd like to see that. All right. Our guy shows you up. You leave. You on this? On it. All right. You need to get a feel for this ball. And welcome to the final mission. The final <laughs> confrontation <laughs> between you and Eddie. Like, All right, then. I'm not looking for this game to, you know, be... Go for it. Uh, you know, have the best script out. ever. But, like, again, this just comes up on you. You're like, oh, right, yeah, Eddie, the guy that I haven't thought about in, like, two missions. Uh, again, and, like, all like, I can think of when I see Eddie is, oh, it's just another Eric. And Yeah, but, like, in the competition episode, Eric was an asshole to you all the time. And he was an asshole to a bunch of people. So, yeah. like, it, he stayed in your mind. Whereas here, it's like, oh, yeah, Eddie, he did that one thing at the end of that one mission. And now we're showing him up and getting his pool. When, Plus, yeah. I mean, a lot of people that are playing this are probably going to be fans of, like, Underground and such, and they'll remember Eric's name and such. They'll be like, oh, shit, it's Eric. Whereas, they look at Eddie here, and they're like, who the fuck's this guy? I yeah. do want to say, in in the positive, uh, I kind of like how your big showdown with Eddie isn't uh, at a competition. Because that's, that's pretty hardcore that, like, the way that you deal with him is just challenging him at one of his yeah, own spots You know, you're on just one. proving ground here yeah. while literally grinding on ground. <laughs> Please. Oh, my God. You guys are like sharks. I complained once, and now you guys have done it, like, every episode since. 
But yeah, again, that hardcore aesthetic, definitely like me versus him and the king of the spot owns the spot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who the true pro but is I mean, here. Also, you've been up here before in this game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the pool might have been filled. Though. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the pool is filled until you win it here. Yeah, but this, like, secret rooftop itself isn't yeah, yeah. exactly... You've always been able to get up to the roof. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Total props, so far, three of three. Okay. Yep. So this mission only has two sections. Yes. You uh, oh, get a feel for the bowl, the and then you have to, oh, just you know, show Eddie up. Just slash grind his feet to knock him over. Just slap him everywhere. Yeah. And the mission does kind of drag itself out by having these, you know, stickers and cans show up one at a time. And every oh. time you, you know, do one, uh, you, the game, you know, pauses and shows you the next spot. Also, wait, is his name literally Eddie X? Uh, it, the mission called him Eddie X. Damn, yeah, that's, that's pretty saw. hardcore. Yeah, the most hardcore letter, X. Well, yeah, you remember Sonic X? That was yeah, that was pretty hardcore. Yeah. The second most hardcore letter is Z. You remember Freestyle Metal X? Yeah. <laughs> he just jumps in. Yeah, now I gotta say, <laughs> but why does Eddie keep standing right next to the bowl after the first or even the second time you knock him over? Like, is he like... He's gonna keep doing it. You're gonna keep knocking him over. <laughs> he's gonna he limp just down, just in. fucking fall in the ball. What is he doing? Is it this? ragdoll physics? Or yeah. is, it, is it just. Yeah, uh, it's ragdoll. You just gotta slash his legs. You know? Yeah, you gotta slash your ass if you must. Mm -hmm. That joke was pretty lame. I'm what sorry. What a great camera right now. Double freeze. Oh, just. And so these, I think, their spots might be randomized, but this mission also, you know, sometimes leaves me feeling like I did something backwards on accident. Like if, you know, I hit one of these cans or stickers or eddy, and then, like, I'm going one direction, and the camera pans out to show me the next thing to hit, and it's like, if I was going the other direction, I would have hit it too. It's like, yeah. Uh, but again, Which is, I, I, know what Eddie's, I know what Eddie's trying to do here. He's trying to mock you while doing all this shit. And it's just like, why? <laughs> why mock him it's not right working. near is the ball? Is he saying anything? Like, he's, he's just standing there right now. He's like, what are you going to do? He's like, fucking I'm going to knock you into the ball again. <laughs> I've done it like ten times. Also, you mentioned how, like, the way the stickers and things are set up so that it kind of feels like you're doing them out of order. Which is weird, because the early... Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Eddie's dead, baby. Eddie's he's dead. Eddie's dead. dead. His Eddie's body's dead. cut in half with the fence. And he's uh, back! Uh, go ahead, can I... Uh, which is weird, because that earlier mission, the one at the competition, which brings us, you know, our uh, you know, our evil guy for the episode, was kind of focused on having a line around the place. You know? Yeah, again, it's probably randomized, and sometimes I just get rough luck. Yeah. Meh. We got sick, though. We Card did it. Slash. Adios. But this this is my pool. Not anymore, Eddie. Hit the bricks. Looks like you need some motivation. Hey! Hey, kid, you want to see something? Damn, that must have hurt. Yeah, it did. We all got them. We all who? All us pool skaters. Everyone in the crew. Oh, no way. Hell no. This is the best day of your life, maggot. You're a man now. You need to remember this day. You guys don't have to do this. It's OK. I mean, oh, God. You, you really going to do this? Really? Uh, yeah. Well, we have the balls on spot now after getting branded like a fucking cow. Yeah. That, yeah. A lot of questions. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> his, uh, Eddie's character model at first very clearly entirely rigid except for the head. Like, not, like, static model. Okay. Uh, 
Then the animation of him getting kicked down the stairs. Very uh -huh. interesting. Lance! Lance really showcases his good guy, like, personality, yeah. while secretly being evil as fuck. On one hand, yeah. that's the most hardcore thing. Like, bowl skaters having, like, a, you know, secret club society where you have to get branded to show that you're part of them. On the other hand, once again, Lance is just a nice dad. <laughs> He's, like... It Sorry, been more, son, everyone's got to go through this at some time. It would have been more, you know, like, work better for, like, Mike V to do that. Like, I Lance like is his... walking towards you with a brand, and he's just like, Hi, I'm Lance Mountain. I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I like, think what Lance you. is doing is very smart in, like, just make, having this persona of being a nice dad guy, or secretly being this motherfucker who yeah, brands but, people's arms and shit. But his... his voice acting tone didn't change either he read that yeah. line the same way he reads anything else so yeah there's the brand tattoo but it's so high up on your arm you either need to be shirtless or wearing a tank top because any other shirt either. covers it uh yeah i'll try and show it off closer right here wow uh, yeah. lance uh, uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was, I guess, like a fever dream of an episode, kinda. Yeah. God damn. Um, but that was the last hardcore episode. We've finished all that three hardcore episodes. That show hardcore. We can do, go do the hardcore uber goal if we want. Uh, but we have one more episode to the game. The third and final, uh, modding episode. Or rigging episode. Yeah, day one's modding episode. Which nice. we'll see next time. I'm proving ground.